continuing with what we, uh, with the last uh, model like we stopped at uh, the point where we should improve our model to take into account uh, the uh, the, uh, the anchor sheet pile in this uh, tutorial we will talk about uh, how we can uh, set the uh, uh, the anchor with two different ways and we can start to compare the results between uh, before and after including uh, the support uh, for the sheet pile to see the difference in the moment and how we can save uh, the section uh, of the sheet uh, pile through distributing the moment in uh, both uh, direction so in this tutorial we will start with this, uh, the last model we will just uh, go back to the model here and there are two ways to start to define the anchor the first way is through adding a support and you can go to constrain here and we go to advanced and I want to constrain my sheet pile at x direction and at which node guys and we will constrain it at depth of 2 meters so this is 1 meter this is 2 meter so we will choose this point and now we have to choose the three points as we can see here because we split for the interface at this point if you remember from the last tutorial and I will call it support or anchor and I say apply so at this stage we will go back to analysis and I will go back here to construction stages and I will go to sheet pile here and at the dredging one I will remove this one and I will start to add the boundary condition of this and I say save now I already added this constraint we can see the simulation of the stages this is the first stage with the rigid link and we explain the importance of the rigid link now we including the interface now we dredge the first layer and we add the support then the dredging of the second layer the third layer and we adding the life load at the end then now we will start to run our model and we say ok and we will start to see the difference in the results we can see here our model is running this is dredging 1 now dredging 2 as we can see here the speed of the analysis has increased and this is because the anchor has made a support for the analysis at this point so now I will go to the results here and I will start to see the displacement in X direction and if we remember last time that the displacement was around 15 centimeter when we didn't include uh, an anchor so now we will see as we can see here this is the effect of uh, the loads we can go here to fringe so we can see here the distribution of the displacement in x direction and this is y direction so it makes sense and it's real logic so i will go back here and i will start to show the minimum and the maximum and as we can see here that the minimum the maximum displacement here it become around two millimeter and this is very important or three millimeter last time it was uh, 15 centimeters so we can see the effect of the anchor on the lateral displacement here when we're creating the sheet pile so it will be more obvious when we will start to talk about the uh, uh, the moment so if I went here and I will hide everything I will show the sheet pile and I will go here to show the uh, forces of the beam so this is the beam and this is the forces we can show here the bending moment as we can see now that the bending moment at this point has two direction and we can see that the maximum moment here has decreased to 219 we can go to extract now and 
we can go to uh, beam forces and we show the bending moment in y direction and we choose node and element and we go here to choose sheet pile and I say filter in y direction and I say show me the table so I will develop a table now and this is from the last this is from each increment but this is from the last increment I will take it control C and I go to my Excel now to add this so in uh, this uh, graph I will go here and I will start to select data and I will add here and I call it anchor so for the X direction I will choose my data here for the Y direction I will choose the Y here and I can say okay so as we can see here that the maximum moment here from including interface it was and we say here okay it was um, uh, 322 and here it was 219 so we can see that we saved the distribution in the moment in in the in the two cases uh, uh, with like around 100 uh, kilonewton meter which will decrease the thickness of the sheet pile when we are designing just by including the anchor we can try now to include this is from single anchor we can try to include another anchor at depth four meters now we included at depth two meters now we will include another anchor at depth four meter to see the uh, distribution of the moment again so I will go back here to show everything and I will go here to uh, uh, here and constraints and I will go to advanced and TX and I will call this anchor at minus four meter so I will choose this is 3 meter and this is 4 meter I will choose the 3 points as we can see and we can say apply and cancel and we will add this when we start to dredge the second layer we go back here and we go to the dredging 2 and we will start to activate the second moment and we will see that the speed of the run will be significantly more but make sure that when you go to tools and options like the analysis here you have to add the number of processors and you enable the GPU acceleration for the speed of the run and you say apply and OK now when we start to run our model it will be significantly fast as we can see here this is dredging 1 this is dredging 2 and now dredging 3 and finally we go to our live fluid case and now we are done with our analysis now we will see last time the lateral displacement was 2 millimeter uh, so let's see the results now if adding another anchor affected the displacement so we go here to the lateral displacement and we go here to show the minimum and the maximum so as we can see here that the displacement here if we talk prop it's 0.3 millimeters so it decreased a lot uh, by including another uh, one so we will go now to the most important thing is the forces and the bending moment as we can see here so we show analysis here and we go back to show the sheet pile and we can see here that the distribution of the moment as it decreased here and if we see here this will be the layer of the clay so we can just extract and we can adjust the place of the support so we show the uh, beam element and uh, but forces not stresses and we show bending in Y and we just show the last case and we show the sheet pile and arrange in Y direction and show me table um,
uh, there is a problem here show me table from run one yes node and element arrange table and we say control C control V and we go here and we say select data add anchor and in an X direction and in Y direction and as we can see okay this is the bending moment that bending moment has increased here to 242 and here it's 219 so if we just adjusted the place of the anchor we can start to see that uh, we can start to see that uh, the moment will decrease because we have to move the anchor places from point to point so if we go here back to edit this is anchor 1 this is anchor 2 at 4 meters so you just need to keep changing the places of the anchors and you can reach to the optimum uh, place for the anchor there are different ways uh, as i said to define uh, the anchor the first way as i mentioned is by uh, devolving constraints but there is another way which is we are not gonna do it in this video but if you want to uh, to uh, displacement here and you can choose the nodes and you can just add constraint here by tx to be zero like you are constraining this node with displacement to be zero so it will not move it will act as it's an anchor and here it's gonna be like a displacement control i will stop with this video at this point and we will talk about more interesting stuff in the coming video see you next video thank you